guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with my ha <coughs> Halloween stuff, sorry. Um, if you saw my launch video, we started covering this box. So this is what we've kind of done so far. Didn't know really what to put in the box, but, but I have got this book here, which I had bought for doing like an altered book or, you know, I wasn't sure what, what I bought it for, but you know, something in the, in the craft world. Um, but look, it just happens to be a pretty good fit in the box, doesn't it? So I'm thinking we could definitely make some sort of journal or something from this book. So I'm just going to move the box out of the way. Um, as you can see, it's just a recipe book. I'm going to get rid of the um, jacket, as they call it, you know, from around the, the book. Um, yeah, I just think this would be quite ideal to have in there. Now, it's got a lot of pages, it's got to be said. So I'm kind of thinking, um, what am I thinking? I was thinking perhaps get rid of some of the pages because obviously once we start adding things, it may be too bulky. Or we could do more of like a glue book um, in here, which, you know, that might be quite fun to do, to be honest. Um, the pages in here, they are a little bit on the glossy side. They're not too, too bad, but they are, you know, they are a bit glossy. So, yeah, if we're going to do like a glue book, I think what we'll do is, yeah, just paint some of the pages. So I'm going to paint them with my usual, my go-to colour, which I don't always use this same colour. It's the antique cream, it's the crown, um, normal kind of emulsion type paint. And yeah, I mean, this is just my kind of like favourite colour really to be using. It always, always, always looks good. So that's what I'm going to use to paint all of all of the pages. Now, again, I probably will paint some, do some work in the journal or, you know, create some pages in the journal and then come back and do some more. Um, and we'll just kind of like do it like that, I think, because otherwise I could be here all day just painting the pages. So, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Just having a look at my or look for look for my scissors to be able to actually oh open the tin hold on oh no i can't see them anywhere right let me just open the tin and the only reason i'm doing this is because i know that whenever i paint anything really like an altered book or anything else i do get loads of people saying to me oh how did you paint it i mean obviously you know there's no kind of special thing that I'm doing I'm just literally painting it you know as per well as per I would paint anything else really so um yeah there's no kind of like magic magic formula or anything like that I'm just getting my paintbrush which has been in with my coffee mixture behind my desk for ages so let me just get that out and just dab that off because it's obviously quite quite wet and saturated from the coffee mixture so let me just dry that off a bit okay right okay so i'm going to just take yeah this um crown emulsion and let's let's just start anyway randomly in the book in the uh book and all i'm going to do is just paint the pages in fact let me move this before i uh, before i get paint on there so yeah just painting all the pages through the book now you can probably see i mean it's okay you can sort of see some of the image or the, you know, the stuff through. Um, personally, that doesn't really bother me that much. But, you know, it might be that I will do two coats. We'll just kind of see how we get on. Um, I like to do things like this generally in the summer. Because obviously then you can do it outside. You've got plenty of space. And the sun will just dry this very, very, very quickly. But if you're doing it in the winter, anything like this, then obviously what you can do... I'm just going to get my my wipes so that I try and keep as clean as I possibly can in this video um what you can do is just go with your heat tool if you've got one and just kind of dry as you go so like that Okay. 
and I thought, oh, it doesn't take two minutes, and now look, it seems to be taking forever, but it's only because I'm doing a video that obviously it seems like it's taking forever, because obviously I want it to be really, really, really quick. Okay, right. Okay, and then obviously just go straight to the next one and just paint the next pages. So, you know, I'm just going to do that through the whole kind of book. Um, but like I say, I might do a few, then come in and decorate some and then come back and do some more just because it's, it's a bit boring doing the whole book, really. So I might break it up by, <laughs> you know, paint some, decorate some, paint some, decorate some, just to ease the boredom. So... That's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to switch the camera off, paint a few, and then we'll come back and we'll actually kind of decorate some up. Right, I'm back. Now I have to say, I've had a complete U-turn um, as to what we're going to be doing here. So, yep. <laughs> I don't know quite why, but suddenly as I was kind of painting these and drying this, I thought, do you know what? If I do this as just a kind of flattish glue book, you know, that's not going to be all that fun. So, you know, to go into that box, which is, of course, you know, very, oops, very bulky. So I thought, well, actually, I think what I would like to do is have, you know, a bulkier journal. Oh, dear. I don't know what's going on with my craft knife. Um, a bulkier journal, which, of course, then. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to fathom out how to how to work my craft knife here. Um, a bulkier journal, which, of course, then. Oh, sorry, completely distracted. Um, a bulkier craft not a bulkier craft knife, a bulkier journal that's going to take up more room in the box. I do love the shape of this journal because this, you know, I mean, it's like it was made for that box, isn't it? It's just perfect. So I had obviously been painting the pages and this was all wearing through my head. And I thought, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this up and we're going to make a ring bound journal, but using this book. So I haven't really kind of like done that before as such so yeah i normally use quite thick pages for a glue book uh, for a junk for a ring bound journal so what we're going to try and do oh gosh let me try and fix my craft knife so that i can cut this right what we're going to do is we're going to cut the oh gosh what's going on with my craft knife right hopefully right we're going to cut no, it's not working. Right, we're going to cut these pages out, hopefully. I don't know whether that's actually cut through that. Yeah. Okay, so I might need to do that again. Right, okay. So we're going to cut the pages out. And then, because what I thought was actually, you know, so as it's kind of like fill in the box properly, what I need is um, it to be more even if that makes sense rather than you know like it being that shape in the box which I just thought will look really rubbish when you open the box I would prefer it's completely wide so this obviously you know doesn't have a very big spine or anything like that so I'm going to get rid of the spine so I'm still going to use obviously these covers or you know these um yeah the, the covers as my cover but I'm going to do it as a ring bound journal, which I've never made a square ring bound journal before. So hopefully that in itself will be kind of like a really unique, kind of really different feel for this. So I'm just going to get rid of this, this little bit here. Well, hopefully. Honestly, I mean, I'm so rubbish with my craft knife. I should really sit and actually sort it out rather than just try and now bodge it and use it regardless. But him <laughs> because I'm doing the video I just want to kind of crack on now and do the video so yeah please excuse my poor poor knife skills which I am not recommending that this is how you use a craft knife at all um you know please do not do not do what I'm doing because it may well be it's super dangerous okay right let's just take that off so, and again, it doesn't matter if it kind of tears into the, um, you know, this like presentation kind of image. That's all fine. Right, so I've made it pretty, 
pretty messy and rubbishy there. So obviously we can now decorate those um, covers, but we won't decorate them yet. So what I want to do is take the, you know, the pages from the journal. So this, or, you know, the pages from the book, perhaps I should say, not the journal. And <clears throat> I want to reinforce them so that they're thicker pages on the rings. Only because, you know, if they're quite flimsy, thin pages, I just always think they're a little bit of a, a vulnerable point and likely to get, you know, damaged as it turns. So let's take, well, let's just take a few of these pages. Obviously, this has only occurred to me since I've been painting these. So what I've got now, I've painted obviously both sides of the pages, which had I thought of this first, I wouldn't have obviously bothered painting both sides. But I'm just going to take some of the pages, obviously, that I haven't painted yet. <clears throat> so, like that, okay. Now, I don't know whether two page thicknesses is going to be enough or whether actually I might need three, three page thicknesses. We shall see. So, I'm going to bring in the ones that I've painted that I've just said about. So, for instance, this, I mean, if this were two pages thick, it still feels pretty flimsy. So I think what I'm going to do is make them make them three pages in thickness because I like them to be, you know, really sturdy and not obviously then vulnerable to getting, you know, damaged when they're on the rings. So, you know, because I want to have lots of um, embellishments per page. So I think this is probably going to be the best way to do it is make the pages you know, the foundation for my bits really nice and sturdy. So let's get lots of glue on there. Okay. Right, glue that one down. Again, where is my glue spreader? Yeah, I'm having the same problem that I had in the last video in that I have now misplaced all my supplies. So yeah, let's just spread that down as best we can without the glue spreader. Okay. And then my third page, just going to glue onto there. So, I mean, you could use double-sided tape for this, you know, anything really. Um, you know, you don't even have to use kind of, um, you know, the pages at all. You could use something else completely in here. But I'm kind of thinking, let's just use the actual book itself, you know, rather than waste it. Let's actually utilise that book. So... Now I'm just going to obviously place this down onto here. Okay, so that's giving me a much sturdier foundation page. Now, obviously, it's still a bit floppy, but once that glue's dried, it will probably take on a much sturdier feel altogether. So I'm going to do that with some of the pages to just kind of form my, my pages for the journal. So let's bring in another couple. <clears throat> okay so let's get that off and again you know I don't mind if these are a bit tatty on the edges that's all fine you know I quite like that tatty tatty look so you know I might tidy them up anyway um but you know if I don't I actually quite like that anyway so um it's all fine but yeah all we're actually doing is getting our foundation foundation pages kind of done so let's put that one on that way round. Not that I think it really made any difference, but I was going to say so is that we haven't got the texty part kind of showing through, but actually that's going to be glued over anyway. So that was just irrelevant. Didn't really matter. Right, have I just spotted my glue spreader down there? Yes, that's better. Just because then it will be nice and smooth, hopefully. Right. So again, take my, my painted one and just pop that down. Okay. So yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this now because um, I don't feel like I've made a ring bound journal in this shape before. And yeah, I can just kind of picture it looking really, really, really good, to be honest. So um, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun making this. And, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll know ring bound journals, they are my favourite journals to make because you can be so wild and free. 
with your embellishment types because obviously the journal can really bulk out and it's it's all fine you know it can bulk out as much as you need because it's just on the rings it's not kind of confined by you know having to be stitched into a signature or anything so yeah i'm actually really looking forward to um you know seeing where we go with this it's hopefully going to be really really good so right let's just glue this one down now, as you can probably see, this has got a chunk missing. So, to be honest, I'm going to avoid gluing it to the other one with the chunk missing unless I put them on, you know, back to back. Because I don't want to have, like, a, a chunk missing everywhere on that page, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to stick this to... I was going to say hopefully one without a chunk missing, but actually this one still has, so... But I've done them now round the other way. So, you know, they've got missing chunks, but on the opposite sides. So hopefully we haven't got any one point that's, you know, thinner than anywhere else, if that makes sense. So, and then just, you know, put my painted page down on there as well. Now, again, you know, don't know really how many pages I will go for in here, but, you know, perhaps, oh, I don't know. Mm, I was thinking 10 but that might be too many so yeah perhaps we'll start with about six and then kind of see how we get on um you know because six pages is like 12 sides basically and what I normally do if I'm making a um, ring bound journal I do then include some plain pages actually you know intermingled with the highly decorated pages so as you've got some plain ones for journaling so I mean hopefully that's what we'll do here is you know we'll have kind of maybe about six six pages like this to start with you know who knows we might decide actually we need more than that but we'll start with about six and then work our way up from there okay and then um you know we'll have some plain pages decorated as well so okay right those and just again get some of those painted pages now to cover those with oops like that. oh my goodness these feel so yummy where they have been painted I mean they're not quite dry if I'm truthful but yeah they feel so scrumptious I love the feel of painted pages and actually I love the feel of these painted pages even more because these have got like a really soft kind of um, effect going on a bit like when you paint the magazine pages and they go really soft they're like that now that could just be where they're still wet at the moment so you know or, yeah not kind of fully dry at the moment so yeah might not be how they're going to turn out but yeah at the moment they're feeling absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> i just love 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 that feel right okay i'll just turn that one over actually no turn it back over there that way okay And then, I mean, to be honest, what I've done before, if I've used book pages before, which I have used book pages, but not, not glossy type book pages like this. Um, <clears throat> but what I've done then is I take, I've taken them to the sewing machine and stitched around the edges. I mean, I guess just as further reinforcements, it also looks quite pretty, you know. Again, that's like an optional, optional step, really. But yeah i mean we've probably all got like a little recipe book or something like that you know something similar to this that we could pull in and make something like this from <clears throat> so okay that one and yeah let's just do a couple more oh look at that green on those cakes don't they look good? Well, they <laughs> say look good. I mean, I'm not sure how appetising they really do look. But, yeah. You can see how they'd be super fun for maybe a football fan. You know, a lad who was uh, really into his football. Okay. 
So, yeah, plenty of glue. And, yeah, glue this one down here. Okay. Get that glue out. Okay, and yeah, we're gonna have it this way around. Okay, yep, but texty page here. Again, got just a little bit missing there where that page got torn, you know, shoddily out of the book. When I say got torn, I mean I I tore it out shoddily. I don't mean like somebody else had done it. That was me, obviously. Okay. So yeah, plenty of glue. So far, I feel like all I've actually done for this Halloween journal and um, the box and things is just glue, gluing things down, gluing things together, gluing things down. I mean, I guess that is pretty much all I've done so far, but I mean, hopefully we're going to, <laughs> we're going to evolve from that and yeah, do some actual nice, nice things. So, right. How many am I up to so far? I think I've done five so far. So I'm just going to do one more. So I'll just put one more together. Oh, how cute are those cakes? They are so sweet, aren't they? Very, very cute. Right. Okay. Okay, right, we are nearly done. So then what I'm going to do is, before I take it to the sewing machine, I'm going to paint again so that both sides are painted, obviously, rather than just one that we've currently got. And then um, I will take them to the sewing machine, you know, after I've painted. So let's just pop the last page down. And like I say, I mean, I might come back and do some more pages. We might not just, you know, stick with these. Um, we might do some more. So we'll kind of see how we get on. But this is just my starting point. Um, and then we'll see kind of like, yeah, just how the journal comes on, you know, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, I'm really actually excited about this project now. I have to say I was floundering thinking, oh, you know, I'm not sure not sure what to do. I did the box because I was very excited. <laughs> then I thought, oh, I don't know now what to put inside the box. <coughs> and I was thinking, you know, the paper's from the attic. But to be honest, it's quite a deep box. So I think it would be too deep really for just kind of papers from the attic type feel. You know, and I then kind of think, oh my goodness, this is going on endlessly. So yeah, I'm going to stop the film now and I'm going to paint the pages so that they're all kind of painted, you know, back and front. And then I will probably just take these to the sewing machine and just stitch around the edges and then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back and um, as you can see, what I've done is just stitched around the edge. Now I've used black thread, hoping that's kind of a bit Halloween-y, um, you know, because we're going to be going for, yeah, kind of like a, a darker look rather than a rather than a friendly look so <laughs> if you can call it friendly just because it's it's not dark I don't know um anyway so that's how the pages are going to look so this is kind of the foundation of the journal so I'm going to put the pages to one side now what we should probably start doing is just making some ephemera pieces and things like that to actually go obviously inside the journal now obviously I've got tons and tons of bits and bobs here um <clears throat> you know fussy cut pieces and things like that so shall we make I'm wondering shall we make a snippet roll or shall we make a bunch of clusters um that's tricky to be honest I mean yeah for me a snippet roll and clusters they're kind of like you know much the same in that you know once the clusters are kind of like torn down uh the snippet rolls are torn down they're more or less a cluster aren't they so yeah, um, oh, I can't decide now. 
can't decide. Um, mm. Oh, why are things so tricky sometimes to decide? But I mean, you know, these are going to be good sizes on these pages. So I've not kind of shrunk them down or anything. Let's tear this first. Honestly, I'm like a bit scared. I don't know where to stop. Not scared as in, ooh, it's, it's the horror Halloween, so I'm scared. But scared as in, I don't know. I just feel a bit nervous about doing this. I don't know why. But yeah, I've been having loads of things going on. So I think um, <laughs> I'm just feeling a bit anxious generally. Now I feel a little bit scared about kind of, oh gosh, I hope I can pull this off and do, so, you know, do something really nice with this kit and do it justice. Because it is absolutely such a fun, fun, fun kit to use. Right, now I'm just wondering, maybe I won't actually do clusters. Maybe we will just get on and decorate the pages kind of straight off. What do you think? Yeah, perhaps we should just do that. So let's have a look at this one. Now, just wondering whether I'm going to pull in an envelope. Like I say, I mean, I love doing the ring bound journals because we can be pretty, um, you know, flamboyant in our, you know, our styles and our pieces. They can be pretty big and bulky. It's, it's all kind of like, yeah, it's all good. So I'm thinking maybe an envelope on the side of this page. So what I want to do is probably line the envelope as the first thing. So yeah, let's just take this down. So I'm just going to put it about there. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay. okay right. Let's just do this like this. So yeah, take that envelope. Uh, take the, the piece of paper down to fit inside that envelope and I mean I know I say this all the time but I mean I just like to reinforce the envelope so they're a bit stronger and sturdier once they're actually you know being used in the journal you don't want them falling apart you know if you can keep them strong and sturdy then that's all the better isn't it so let's put that in oh, now my glue's clogged up because I've actually done that been out and done the shopping um in between so yeah painted them <laughs> Stitched a couple of pages, did the shopping, baked some cakes actually with my daughter. And I'm not saying this to be like, oh, check out my mum's skills. No way. <laughs> no way. You should see the cakes. I mean, honestly. No, and it's the first time we've baked four yonks. Absolutely yonks. So, um, yeah, but she's home from school today. So um, I thought it would be quite nice to do some, some baking with her. So they're in the oven at the moment. But hopefully my son is going to deal with them when the oven goes off so um yeah that's the that's the plan right let's just pop some, some glue down here okay right put that inside here okay like that right Let's squish that down. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm probably going to cut that flap down. Um, you know, I'm probably going to cover the flap up anyway. Oops. Probably going to cover the flap up anyway once it's actually, you know, stuck down. So I don't really need such a ginormous flap because it's just it just means it's more to cover up. So yeah, I will probably probably cut the flap down quite a bit. Okay, right, let's, whoops, let's go in and cut it down, just there, okay, right, <clears throat> just got an edge, oh dear, did not glue it very well on here, so yeah, let's just push a bit more glue on there, okay. Right. So yeah, we're going to have this envelope obviously glued down onto this page here. So I love, love, love how that looks just on that page like that underneath the envelope. So what I want to do is obviously decorate that envelope up 
um, with some bits and pieces. So I'm thinking maybe use, oh, I mean, that's a, a nice image, isn't it? Um, hmm. Let me just have a look through the ephemera pieces just to see if there's anything else that I would kind of prefer to be using. Mm. No, I don't know now. I actually am wishing that I had this on um, thicker paper rather than this flimsy copy paper. So yeah, I might have to actually print off some more of this because I think that would be that would be quite nice to use. Uh, also, yeah, oh, we could use this one. Should we tear this down? <clears throat> Love this scary page. It's just really horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, what a weird thing to say. Love this scary page. It's really horrible. But hey, that was what we were going for, wasn't it? It was scary and creepy and, yeah, horrific. Yeah, so she could definitely come in a bit more. So perhaps come in a bit more on this side. Again, this is in copy paper rather than... Um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, you know, thicker paper. So again, I'm kind of wishing that I printed this on thicker paper because I just think when it's going to be the main focal point, I'd prefer it really a bit more um, sturdy rather than in the flimsy copy paper. But, you know, hopefully it will be fine. So just wondering whether we could do a bit of purple maybe kind of hanging off the edge there. So yeah, let's see See if we want some bits in the background. Do we want the purple or I've got obviously the remnants of the, you know, what we used for the cover. So let's have a look here. I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? So let's just take that down. <clears throat> feels weird to say that's quite nice when it's got blood drips on it you know that's just weird in itself isn't it but okay so yeah we should have that there and then here now I'm just wondering do we want any more well I mean we could have this I guess on the you know on the other side so here and then yep just tear that there because all I'm trying to do is just put some interest you know behind her so we're just kind of piecing in with some you know some leftover bits that we hadn't used yet so yeah quite like how that looks right let's glue these bits down so I might yeah, I might put this one down first to be uh, Oh no, I'll have to put this one down first, I think. Right, okay, let's put this one down first. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Right, love how that looks. Yep, very, very nice. And then this one we're going to put here on this edge now. So let's just glue this down. Okie dokie. I am kind of wondering still, I think, just, yeah, because there's like a ton of stuff going on at the moment in in my house. I'm struggling to concentrate. So, yeah, I'm thinking kind of we might make the ephemera parts, you know, all the ephemera pieces, and then come back and actually put them onto the pages. Um, 
I mean, that's probably how I would generally normally do perhaps a ring bound journal. Um, yeah, I've just kind of lost my ability to to focus, I think, and to concentrate today. So, yeah, I'm thinking perhaps that would be best. Oh, look at this. Look at this purple against that. So, you know, obviously we've got lots of that rich purple going on in this kit. I just absolutely love it. So let's just see. I mean, we could have it just tied around on the front with the purple. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I haven't got a great deal to play with there, got to be said. But just about, we've got just about enough. Now, do I like it like that or would we prefer this image? <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, I didn't use this in the first place because it wasn't on thicker paper. And now I've gone for this anyway, which of course it's not on thicker paper anyway. So does it matter really? I might as well have used this one, which was the one I wanted to use in the first place. I'm just going to tear this down and we'll just see how this would look. even kind of just I mean I'm just very loosely kind of like tearing it around the shape of the frame you know because she's obviously in that frame there so yeah just kind of like using that as a bit of a bit of a guide maybe oh, is she a bit tall for there let's just see I'm just going to slot her in. She obviously needs to come down further because she's quite big on there at the moment. Yeah, I think I prefer her, to be honest. So, yeah, I just kind of pulled the other one in, ironically, because I said, oh, you know, I wish this one was on the sturdier paper. I then went and pulled in the other one anyway, which also was not on sturdy paper, so therefore <laughs> made that irrelevant anyway. Oh, gosh, now look. Torn mainly most of that frame off, so... That was shoddy tearing. <clears throat> but again, again, I don't think that really matters. So, right, let's just come down here. It just needs to come in slightly on the side because it's a little bit wide for the envelope. So, yeah, let's just take that in just there. Oh, my goodness, look at what I'm doing. I'm just tearing right through her, her hair and her head. Honestly... I mean, what is going on with my awful tearing today? It's pretty bad, isn't it? Pretty bad. Well, I mean, I could put that down and then, you know, if it's bothering me, what I could do is always print it out on, you know, thicker card and then, you know, fill it in. But at least so that we get it, just for the purposes of doing the video, we've at least kind of um, put her down in the first place. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, I think. So let's just pop her down. You know, because, yeah, I just want to kind of like complete something rather than just, you know, talk about how we're going to make the altered book or the ring bound journal from the altered book. Um, you know, so that way, by doing this, if I'm not happy with it, I think it looks flimsy. I can always then, you know, come back. Oops, come back and go over it just with a, a sturdier copy of this, a sturdier printout of this image. So, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Right, okay. So, yeah, she looks good on there, doesn't she? And then, yeah, I would quite like to have this. Um, I wonder if I've got any more in this bright purple. I mean, this is, yeah, well, that's better. That might be longer. Right, let's just have a look and see. Yeah, I think that is longer. So, I just felt like my bow was having to be pretty stingy because there wasn't much there to play with. So yeah, who wants a stingy bow? Hmm? It's much nicer if you can be, be big with your bow, be bold with your bow. So yeah, we're going to kind of like tie that there. Oh, I quite like that off to the side, weirdly. I mean, that's just how that tied. It wasn't intentional, but oh my goodness, love that to the side. Right, obviously there's lots of kind of purpley bits and things like that in the fussy cuts. So I might just take one or two of the fussy cut roses and then we could have those kind of placed around as well 
which again I might then live to regret because obviously then if I need to print this out on thicker paper I've then kind of committed to the um you know the flimsy version but anyway let's let's just see so <clears throat> right let me put my glasses on for a moment okay Okay, right. Oops. Rubbish, rubbish fussy cutting today as well. So, yep, nice to know that I'm consistently, consistently rubbish in everything I'm touching today. <laughs> it's not just, just one thing, it's everything. Which, you know, consisting, consistency is always good, isn't it? Yeah, even if it's consistently bad. At least there's a theme going on there, rather than like, oh, it was just that that I was rubbish at. Okay. So, yeah, we could have it kind of like that, I think is rather nice, isn't it? Um, and I'm almost thinking we could also have a bit of black lace somewhere hanging out. So let's just bring in some black lace because love, love, love using lace, as you know. So, whoops. So, yeah, thinking, could we have a bit of this right here, maybe? Mm, that's very nice, isn't it? Dramatic, dramatic and scrumptious. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I quite like that. Now the only thing is, I'm not going to glue this down because if I decide that actually I want to um, replace this with a thicker piece, you know, I don't want to have to kind of like, you know, use or waste this lace. So I'm thinking kind of go with that and that will be a start point for this page. Maybe print that out on some thicker paper and, you know, just kind of have it there. Also thinking maybe have a, this as a little ruffle would be quite good yeah like, like that I think so let's open this piece now okay right so this will be opening like this I'm going to have it stuck right on the side of the page so that being said what I can do is obviously glue this down so let's glue this um you know sari silk onto the envelope flap okay so yep and i'm just using the fabric tack for this <clears throat> okay like that okay so that's that and yep Oops. A bit more very wide this sorry silk so yeah need to, oops, need to kind of make sure it's glued down everywhere then going to glue down this envelope flap so going right the way across here okay under there and then of course all over that sorry silk as well Right, right to the edge, hopefully. Oh, right, okay. Let's have a look now. So this is going to glue down here on this edge Ooh, of the edge of the page. So yeah, like that. Okay, press that down. Okay, right. That now obviously opens like this. <clears throat> the sorry silk's obviously trapped under there, which is good. Okay, so whatever I put, you know, if I have a pocket or anything here, the sorry silk will be trapped under that pocket as well, if that makes sense. So, you know, that's how it's it's going to be. This I love here. Now, do we want any kind of, you know, other patterned paper or anything behind this? So... So we'll just tear a portion of yeah tear a portion of this down <clears throat> just 
going to tear this section off where it's got the white, the white core showing from the paper. Okay. Now, do we want that more over here? Like that. And then this would go there. Yeah, I quite like that. So, yep, let's pop this down. Oops. And that's why, you know, as well, like I say, I'm not kind of too worried if the, you know, the pattern from the underneath of that text and things is showing here. I'm not really too worried because when we come to decorate this, i.e. now, you know, a lot of that's going to be covered up anyway you know, with our bits that we're going to decorate. So, you know, it's not kind of too big a deal, really. You know, because the chances are some of that or a lot of that's going to get covered up in the decorating. So, yeah, like that. That's really nice. I am now even thinking, oh, no. So, we're going to have that on there. Now, bearing in mind, I'm going to obviously have my holes in here as well. So, of course, I will be decorating this up as well. Maybe, you know, I mean, maybe even her or something. So, let's just tear her down. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, just using kind of the scraps, basically, that I've kind of partially used already. You know, because it's good to then use up everything, isn't it? So, you know, she could kind of go on there. And then, of course, I will be putting something under here as well. So I haven't quite decided what, but, you know, we could even just have, like, I don't know, one of the journal cards or something. So if I just take, for instance, this one. You know, I'm not saying this is going to be the one, but let's just try it, for example. So let's just take that one. So she would be on there, this would be here as a pocket on that page. So yeah, I mean that looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then, you know, we'll probably kind of put some other bits and pieces around here as well. Um, but I just haven't quite decided, haven't quite decided what else is going to go on there. So, but you know, we could always incorporate that maybe some of the coloured flowers or you know, any other bits really. So let's just take that. Are you okay, sweetie? How are the cakes doing? Um, are they done? Should we go down and see about decorating them in a minute? But really are they hot. hot? Maybe put them in the fridge for five minutes. I know, not really ideal, but, you know, that might might just do the trick. Because you just want to cool them down enough to be able to decorate them, don't you? Yeah? Okay, right. Oh, I mean, you can probably tell my, my level of baking there, putting them in the fridge. I mean, I don't think that's necessarily the done thing. But, hey, if that speeds up the process and they're then able to be decorated then that's all good by, by me. So something like that, to be honest, looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? So literally going to put that bit of, um, uh, you know, the green lace across here. Oh gosh, I can't really see whether my glue is coming out. Okay, so yep, I'm going to pop that, pop that down there. Okay, chop that down. So that looks lovely, doesn't it? And then, so what I want to do now is obviously glue that sari silk down slightly more here so as it's actually glued onto that page. Like that, okay. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, like that. Maybe a little bit more, so just literally fractionally more here. Okay, Oops. press 
press that down okay and yeah a bit more there oh dear okay right and then this can go here now i have to say i have got this green patina here from a different project which i'm almost tempted to go round the edge of this journal card um yeah i don't know whether i would regret that to be honest but there's something kind of telling me to do it let me just tear this down because i hate the straight edge <clears throat> Yeah, she just instantly looks better, doesn't she? I mean, even if she has the straight edge down here, I just straight away feel better that she's not got the straight edge everywhere. I mean, how weird is that? You know, I don't know. Oops, I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Right, do you know what? I'm going to try that green because, you know, from the patina. If I don't like it, I can always, you know, I can always be... Um, you know, not stingy and actually even print another sheet or I could just cut a slightly different design of journal card. You know, it's really not kind of the end of the world, is it? I must not be so ridiculous. You know, because it might look amazing and then I'll be glad that we done, you know, we did um, try it. But otherwise I'm busy thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I? You know, and just being really stingy thinking, oh, I don't want to waste it if it looks rubbish. Well, hey, it might not look rubbish. It might look actually really good and you'll be pleased that you've done it. So, <clears throat> right, let's just glue that down. Okay, I'm going to have to go in a second and obviously do the, um, do the cake decorating. But yeah, let's just quickly try this. So, let's just, just go around the edge there, including on the lace, actually. Okay. Oh, do you know, I love that with the green. I absolutely love how that looks with that green. Um, yeah, definitely love that. Right, I'm going to have to go because my daughter's here again. She's obviously dying to decorate the cakes. So, yep, yeah, going to go and um, cake decorate now. And I will be back. And we will definitely, definitely be playing with this more. Um, not necessarily this page, but, you know, this, this journal, the Halloween. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, and, oh, loving it. What do you think to this page so far, sweetie? A bit too scary. A bit too scary. Yeah, it is a bit horrible, isn't it? But, hey, I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. What do you think? Mm, she's not loving it. Right, okay. So, hope that you like what we've done so far and the start that we've made and, obviously, you know, our plan for the square ring-bound journal, which I've never made before. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks. Bye.